Samantha from there for a second time here at church. I would be surprised if it was the second time she'd actually remember coming to church. It's a very good experience for her. Charles Lucy, I haven't been here since I was a kid. I moved away to Texas uh, when I was 14. I'm 27 now. I'm very happy to be back. Uh, to my friends at church in Texas, I always kind of brag about this area. <laughs> I was one of the kids that had fun dancing in the corner. <laughs> it's very good to be back. <laughs> I just have such fond memories, and I just, uh, I'm just i so glad that her daughter is able to come here. She's here right now. I'm very thankful for that. I'm very, uh, very thankful for the past year and a half, two years. I, I, I got sick really bad, and uh, we didn't tell what was going on. I couldn't heal from a cut, uh, scrap the tongue into a cut. It was, just, it was something pretty bad. And I kept going to the doctor, and I had tests done on it. A few times a week, I'd go to the doctor. And uh, it started looking like. Uh, Leukemia, and then I was diagnosed with leukemia, and I had one more test that would be done that was going to dictate for the rest of my life. And, um, I told no one. I didn't want to let anyone know. I kind of had it on my heart that I knew it was leukemia. My wife was probably the only one knowing, really afraid about it, but my family, they knew something. So they had a prayer chain going for me that I didn't know. And uh, they had no idea what they were praying for, but uh, I went in for my very last deciding test, and uh, the doctor, he kind of had me going for a week. Just, uh, I think it was his little funny thing to do, because when I got there, he had a big smile on his face and said there was absolutely no trace of leukemia. <laughs>
Yes, I recorded everything. <laughs> <laughs>